Hello YouTube. Today I'm doing an unboxing. Um, the first time I've ever gotten into uh, scale rock crawling. Um, just got this in from Amazon. I won't tell you what scale crawler I bought. This is the Everest 10. Um, this will be my first scale crawler. I've been out of the hobby for quite some time. Um, nice box. Of course, Amazon doesn't disappoint. There's no broken, no box, no broken uh, parts to the box or anything. Uh, we got here. It's waterproof. It's ready to run. Everything's in the box except for the batteries for the remote. Um, it's got a brushed motor and of course it's four-wheel drive. Uh, let's open it up. Okay, first thing is you notice you get this hex fly uh, about uh, different kinds of chargers, lipo batteries, that sort of thing. Um, it comes with a, uh, I'm not quite sure how you say that, the Nicoleum batteries. Here's your uh, owner's manual, comes with a bind plug, antenna holder, parts list, the whole thing. Don't ever lose this. You never know what you're going to need in the future. If you break something, let's get this out. got your controller with the charger. Uh, don't know much. I'm guessing this is like a slow charger, probably about nine hours or so, for about an hour and a half to two hours of runtime. I'm guessing. Get to the truck in a second. Here is the uh, remote. Very nice. Doesn't feel like uh, you know one of those cheap remotes you would get with uh, you know one of those uh, remote control cars or trucks from department stores and things like that. Not that those are cheap by any means, but uh, this is a little bit more on the professional scale. Very nice, Red Cat. Very nice. I will say right off the hop, parents, if you're looking to get one of these for your kids. Uh, son or daughter, Red Cat. This is a problem. These remotes take eight AA batteries. A lot of the new remotes um, that are out there, aftermarket remotes, are four batteries. So, Red Cat, we got to address this. Um, but uh, nevertheless, great feel, very nice. Little compartment here on the back for your trims things like that. Uh, as far as channels go, I think it's a three channel, but uh, let's get into the truck and we'll take a look. Pretty easy packaging to get in and out. Wow, this is, <laughs> this is uh, very impressive. Very impressive. Um, just looking at the truck, first impressions. Very nice. Um, up in Canada here, it's about uh, $210 shipped from Amazon, give or take. Sometimes they have deals on. Um, I guess for you folks in the south that are uh, our friends, um, you're looking at probably about 135 145 somewhere around there. So it's a definitely a great crawler for the money. Uh, looking at this first things first, I'm noticing uh, looks like an aluminum chassis here with links and the uh, tires very nice, soft, 
They feel like there's some foam in there. And, uh, let's pull off this body real quick. So we'll take a look at it inside. I don't want to keep rambling on to you folks. There's the body there. Very nice. I won't pull the plastic off quite yet. I'm not sure if I even want to keep that body. Okay, so we got uh, your electronic speed control switch mounted behind here. Your battery sits here. Um, your receiver's here. Like I like the box says, totally waterproof. Uh, <laughs> wow, Red Cat. This is just awesome. Uh, this is the front, the steering servo. Look at this articulation. The tire is just starting to come off the, the table now. That's the front. The back is even more. This one's still planted on the ground. Right about there is when it comes off. Wow. Uh, the shocks feel nice. The shocks are aluminum on the top. This is such a cool feature. It's got the Red Cat logo as the chassis. Love that. That just looks awesome. Um, if you were going to put this more as a scale truck, buy a different aftermarket body. Um, again, it's not going to be very scale oriented or scale um, to scale. But uh, nevertheless, I plan on putting an aftermarket body on. See what we can do to... Uh, make this look a little more like a normal truck instead of something you know made to do this crawling um, this is this this is a pretty heavy truck but it's definitely awesome I can't say enough about this already uh, batteries held in by velcro the pinion gear I did notice here I don't know if you can see it on the camera it sits right here facing the back of the vehicle it's plastic Guys, if you're out there, you know, I've seen plenty of reviews on this uh, machine. Uh, let me know what you think about that um, pinion gear. If it's, should it be something I replace to steal right away? Um, as far as the motor goes, I'm not quite sure the turns. But uh, I'm basically doing this review or an unboxing, whichever. Uh, like I said, this is my first scale crawler. It's going to be nice to uh, get it out there and try it out. If you guys want to see more videos, leave the comments below. Um, like I said, I've never uh, crawled before. I've done a lot of... Uh, I had uh, a Kyosho Nitro Tracker that was monster for monster trucks. I've done short course. I've had an RC10 uh, stadium truck. Uh, but they were all basically... Um, well, the, the team associated was electric, the Nitro Tracker, obviously Nitro. A lot of fun, bang that up quite a bit. Um, so far, this is my first Red Cat. I can't say I hate it, but uh, it's uh, time will tell. All the videos that I see online are great regarding this truck. Very durable. Uh, a lot of uh, opinions out there are that the plastic pinion gears that are inside here, inside the pumpkins, um, they tend to break. But what talked me into buying this, and I can't stress this enough, is the aftermarket parts. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of people want to upgrade this, change things around. There's a, a gentleman out there by the name of Joseph Nichols. Check out his channel. He's extended this frame to bring the shocks more of a straight up and down. He wanted a more scale look. Once the body is on, all you'd be able to see is the shocks anyway. Great, great uh, add-on to any frame. Um, he obviously did it with a CNC machine, so it looks very, very professional. Uh, maybe something um, Red Cat could take from that. Maybe sell those extensions that he's put on. You know, maybe uh, patent it and sell them as a feature or an upgrade or a mod, whatever you want to call it. Uh, great. Great feel, very nice. Um, yeah, this is very impressive. To see one of these up close, 
Uh, compared to online videos, I tell you, it does no justice. This is just amazing to look at. Um, the drive shafts are plastic. The yokes are metal or steel, which is great. Um, that's to me. That's where you'd get a lot of binding going on if you're scaling on rocks, trees, branches, that sort of thing. These tires. Um, don't seem too bad. Um, they don't look like they do a whole lot on sand, to be honest. They look like they're made for more dirt and maybe some rock, but we'll try that out. Again, guys, if you want to see some me uh, looking like a fool out there, trying to learn how to crawl for the first time, uh, let me know in the comments below. Again, this is an amazing, amazing machine. I can't say this enough. Like, look at this. This is crazy. Um, yeah, Red Cat, definitely, uh, well worth the money. Um, oh, like I was saying before, uh, the upgraded parts, if you want to do mods or anything like that. Um, I've seen some videos out there, a lot of people are saying Axial SCX10 parts fit on here. I'll definitely try that out in the future, possibly. I'm noticing I went on redcapracing.com. They have a lot of aftermarket parts. They've got aluminum, um, aluminum uh, knuckles, steering knuckles, you name it. Um, to make this four wheel steer very easy, they basically took the same rear end for front and back. The only difference being there's knuckles right here that prevent it from, from the back wheels from turning left to right. So very easy. Um, I do believe I priced it out on uh, a local hobby store here in Ontario, Canada, uh, where you're looking at roughly fifty to sixty dollars Canadian to make this a four-wheel steer. As far as the receiver goes, it doesn't really say how many channels it is. Maybe that'll be in the instruction sheet. Oh no, here we go. It's uh, three channels. Three channels. So you could easily make this, uh, you know, fooling around with some electronics, you can make this easily four steer without using a channel. It's great that when looking at this body, you might be able to cut in some aftermarket lights, run that off the third channel. But again, great vehicle, great, great vehicle. I can't say enough about this. There's definitely been some major ingenuity going into this. Awesome. Well guys, if you want to see any other videos or have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll get back to them as soon as possible. Okay? So, adios from up here in Canada and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.